Hello Internet people. In this video, I'll show you how to add a video background in HTML on your website. So your website can go from this to this. I will show you how you can just copy and paste the code so it will work on your website. So I'm not going to go into the details of each line of the code, but this video is more of a plug and play. Hercules, how did you feel when you saw this video? Disappointed! Hey man, come on, I thought you were on my side. Tape sweat punch. So I want to add a video background to this to this website. So you can see it's a basic HTML website, has some PHP also, but all this blue part, I would like to have a video behind it. Let's start by getting the video. So here's a great website where you can get free videos. It's called videvo.net. I'll leave the link in the description to this video if you want to. Here, just choose a video you like. I would keep it very short video so that you don't have much bandwidth and maybe even compress the video because this one will be quite big. But just for this example, I'm keeping it as is. So here you can free download it and it will directly start downloading it. Meanwhile, you can take a nap like this guy. Okay, and then once it's done, you just open the folder just move this file to basically the folder where your website lives. In my case, uh, my website is on my computer, so it's a bit easier, but you could do this through file manager as well. Basically, you just need to move it to another folder that's underneath your, uh, in the folder of your domain. So for example, if this was my domain country selector, then I would go inside of it. And then wherever you want, I have a folder called uploads. I usually put the stuff there, but it could be also under images or, um, or content or whatever. And then you place it there. So I'm going to drag and drop it here. And I'm going to rename it so that it's easier. I'm just going to rename it to sky. And now it's in the same folder where all my other files or encode is. So now I can access it very easily. So let me show you now the code. Arnie, can you summarize what we just did? So here, this is my index page. That's the page you just saw, the blue one. Basically here's some PHP, but then we come to the HTML, which has the head tags. And if you scroll down, you have the closing head tag, and then you have more code. So what's important here is if we look at the website itself, this one, you need to find where you want to place it. And you need to find it by right clicking anywhere and then clicking on inspect. And here you need to find the div that actually covers the whole area. In this case, I have this header HTML element that I need to put my f code in. But in your case, it could be a div or something like that because just to give you an example, this container, if I would put the video inside this container, it would only cover, you saw the little box here, the video would be only playing here. So that's why I need to pick the element that actually covers the whole area. You see here, if I scroll a little bit, you see it only goes where the blue part is. So that's where you need to place it. So let's go and see the code. Okay, make it quick because my horse is getting tired. I made it easy for myself because I already have the code here. So this is the, my header and here's the code that you need to enter. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this just because YouTube doesn't allow code in the description. So you will need to go to my website to grab it, but you'll be there. Let's take a look at the HTML and it's actually quite simple. It's basically two divs around a video element. And the important thing here is that you have this video and then you have autoplay muted loop. So this is where you control if you want it to loop, autoplay, if you want it muted by default, which you should. This is where the magic happens. This is where you control all those aspects of the, your video. And this last part is for the layer. This is the transparent layer that blends your video into the page better. So that's much easier to read if there's any text. Don't worry, confused Travolta, you'll see it soon. The only thing you need to change here is this, this one here. 
you need to put the relative URL of your video. So basically where your video is hosted right now. So you just put it in there. Uh, the rest of things you can keep the same. If you use MP4 or .mov, uh, just keep it to the same settings. So type video slash MP4. All right, then save the changes. And then you have the CSS here. This is the CSS you need to place in your .css file. Oh, really? And again, this code will be in the link in the description. So you can just grab it. And once you put it in your style sheet, just save it. And now if you go to your website and you hard refresh it, then you should see the video working like this. So it's nice and smooth, looks really nice. And my name is Robert. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. One thing, I don't know if you can notice, there's actually this layer that makes it much darker just so that your text can pop out. And you can adjust that by going to the CSS. And you have this section here. I'll make it super obvious. I'll make it like blue. You can play around with the opacity so you can get. So let me just show you so that you can see really clearly that there's a layer on top. You see there's blue. And now the stars are behind there. So you could do something like this as well, where it's video behind a color. That could work also nicely. Actually, I like this a lot. And if we take a look at the site on mobile, you can see that it works quite nicely here as well. One thing I want to mention that on iPhones, it might not actually loop. So it might not actually autoplay. And there's not much you can do about that. But for uh, Androids, it should work. So for example, Safari might decide that they don't want that. So it, it really depends on the user's browser and stuff like that. So don't be alarmed by that. But if it doesn't move, then they'll see the first, uh, first frame of the video. So it could look still good. And here are two videos that I think you will enjoy watching next. Whoosh!